Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss certain sample questions based on class 11 computer science. So, as a first step, we will discuss the curriculum. So, here you can see within the term 2, we are expecting 20 mark questions based on Python and 15 marks that's from society law and ethics. So, total 35 marks that we are provided for the term 2 exam. And the topics that we will cover within the term 2 that we are going to see list, tuple, dictionary, then introduction to Python modules that is the main sections that we are discussing there. Then along with that we will provide society law and ethics within that digital footprint, digital society and netizen, data protection, cyber crime, cyber safety e-waste management, technology and society, everything that we are discussing within the theoretical portion based on society law and ethics. So, these particular topics are really important, both the theory and the programming section is important. The reason is the weightage is provided like that. And based on the practicals, we need to solve two questions based on Python for the practical section and for the record, three marks. And for the common viva, one mark and the project viva and the project submission, it is provided with 5 marks. So, that will be the total weightage for the term 2 practical exam, total 15 marks that is provided for the term 2 practical exam. And 35 marks, that is a theoretical portion. So, like that they provide the topic division. So, we are moving to a sample question based on the covered portions are uh, based on the term two portions. The first question is flow stands for free dash and open source software. Free liver or liver open source software. Free liver or liver open source software. So that's the answer. Flow stands for free liver or liver and open source software. So as that one is the first question that we discussed. The next one is this one. This one is part of our syllabus. A equal to 1, 2, 3. That is a list. Then B equal to A means we are trying to copy the data to a new list. That means B that will be taken as a list. Then we are trying to change A of 1. Within the first location, A of 1 means 2. This particular value that we are changing to 5. And then B of 2, the new variable new list variable within the second location 0, 1, 2, th 3. This particular value that we are trying to change it as 9. So, print of A will print which value here they are providing multiple options. So, from this you need to identify the correct answer. So, when we are thinking about the assigning here equal to sign that we used for assigning the value. So, what will happen? The memory location that will be same for both A and B. So, what will happen? Both a and B will contain 1, 5 and 9, 1, 5 and 9. So, this particular data that we changed here is 5 and 9 within the second and third location. It means within the index number 1 and 2, we changed it. So, which answer is the correct one? B, that is the correct answer. B, that is the correct answer. Then we are moving to the next one. These particular topics are not part of our current for the, our exam. So, we are moving to the next one, tuple that is part of our syllabus, tup equal to 10. So, here we did not provide anything, only the value that we enclosed with an off bracket, then print of type of tup. So, what will be the type of that particular variable definitely that will be taken as an, as an integer type. So, if you need to take that particular data as a tuple, so, one comma separator that you need to provide there, then only that will be taken as a tuple. So, here we provide with an off bracket 10. So, if you need to provide it as a tuple, then you need to uh, enclose a comma separator there, then only that will be taken as a tuple. So, here the correct answer is from this, which one is the correct option? Option A, int that is the correct type, int that is the correct type. So, that is the correct answer. So, this one is that we discussed now. Then next question is in India, cyber laws are enforced through 
Information Technology Act 2008, ITA 2008. Whether it's true or false, that's the question. So, what do you think? What will be the answer for this one? We are going to check the answer. So, that's a false answer. That particular statement is false. So, within the textbook, you can see the answer based on that. So, information which act that is belong to that particular rule that we are going to counter check. So, here within the NCRT textbook that is provided clearly in Indian Information Technology Act, IT Act. So, here they provide the information related to that. Please read this particular topic. So, that question that is false, that is false. Then the rows and columns of a relation, this particular question is not part of our current topic, that is a deleted portion. Then this one is part of our topic. The creative creations of the human mind such as literary and artistic works, trademarks, etc. are known as dash. What is that? The creative creations of the human mind such as literary and artistic works, trademarks, etc. are known as dash. What is the answer? We are going to check the answer based on that intellectual property. That is intellectual property. So, that is the answer. Then we are moving to the next question. This one is also part of our topic. A Python dictionary is an unordered set of key and value pairs. And the second statement is dictionary are mutable. The value of certain keys can be changed in place. So, that the two statements that they provided there and which one is the correct one? Both 1 and 2 are true or 1 and 2 are false. 1 is true and 2 is false. 1 is false and 2 is true. So, they are providing four options here. So, when we consider this first statement, a Python dictionary is an unordered set of key and value pairs. That particular statement is true and dictionaries are mutable. Is the dictionaries are mutable? The dictionaries are mutable, we can change the value within the dictionary. Then the value of the certain keys can be changed. So, that two statements are true. So, we are going to counter check which answer is the correct one. Both 1 and 2 are true. Then we are moving to the next question. Plagiarism is the practice of attempting to acquire sensitive information from individuals over the internet by means of deception, whether it is true or false. Plagiarism is the practice of attempting to acquire sensitive information from individuals over the internet by means of deception. Is that the plagiarism? That is not the plagiarism. That is not the definition for plagiarism. So, that particular statement is false. So, what is plagiarism that we are going to see within the NCRT textbook? So, So, here they provide the term plagiarism. So, what is plagiarism that is provided here? With the availability of the internet, we can initially copy or share text pictures and videos presenting someone else's idea or work as one's own idea or work is known as is called plagiarism. So, that is plagiarism. If you are copying the content and we are presenting it as our own, then that will be taken provided as plagiarism. So, that is the definition. So, this one is not the definition. So, this statement is false. Then we are moving to the next one. This one is exception handling. That is a deleted topic. Then we are moving to the next one. Study the following cases and answer the questions that follows. After a fight with your friend, you did the following activities. Which of these activities is not an example of cyberbullying? You send an email to your friend with the message saying that I am sorry. You send a threatening message to your friend saying do not try to call or talk to me. You created an embarrassing picture of the your friend and uploaded it on your account on a social media networking site. So, which one will be taken as which one will be the cyber bullying or which one will be an example of cyber bullying? or is not a, an example of cyberbullying. Which of these activities is not an example of cyberbullying? So, which one is not an example of cyberbullying? Option A. Let us see. 
correct answer option a that's the correct answer then we are moving to the next question so we discussed this one then next one after the practical session other left the computer laboratory but forgot to sign off the uh, his email account later his classmate Ravine started using the same computer he is now logged into the uh, uh, though he sends inflammatory emails messages to few of his classmates using others email account so which process is provided there hacking identity theft or cyber bullying which one what do you think we are going to check the answer based on that that's a identity theft because Javan has impersonated uh, the and is using his inline identity so that's an identity theft the next question Rishika found a scrambled paper under her desk she picked it up and opened it it contained some text which it ha which was stuck off thrice but she could still figure out easily that the stuck off text was email id and password of girl with her classmate what is ethically correct for Rishika to do inform that particular person he may change his password Give the password of his email ID to all other classmates. Use Garvey's password to access his account. So, which one is the correct answer? I'm going to check the answer based on that. So, inform that particular person. That's the correct answer. That's a common thing that we know. Then, next question is: Suhana is down with fever, so she decided not to go to school tomorrow. Next day in the evening, she called up her classmate Shoria and inquire about the computer class. She also requested him to explain the concept. Shorya said, Mom taught how to use tuples in Python. Further, he generously said, Give me some time. I will email you the material which will help you to understand tuples in Python. Quickly download a two minute clip from the internet explaining the concept of tuples in Python. Using video editor, he added the text prepared by Shorya in the downloaded video clip. Then he emailed the Modified video clip to Suhana. The actor Shaurya is an example of which of this one is the correct one and justify your answer. So, we are moving to counter check which one is the correct one. So, plagiarism, they copied the content from other persons. So, because Shaurya is someone else using someone else work as his own. So, that's the justification. Then we are moving to another question. So, this one is not part of our current topic. That is a deleted portion. So, we are moving to the next one. Strain that is also not part of our current topic. So, we are moving to the next question. What will be the output produced by the following code? So, here we provide a list and then a slicing process with the step value 2 that we provided there so when you are providing slicing what will happen the last value that will be included or excluded excluded so up to 9 only that will be taken so the step value is 2 so like that they will iterate it then colon colon start up from starting to ending the entire value that will be taken but the step value is 3 then sum 1 equal to sum 2 equal to 0 that is initial declaration and we work out this particular section. So, what will be the answer for this question that you need to identify. So, 2 colon 10 colon 2 means this one is the original list. So, how that will be taken and what will be the answer for this one that you need to identify yourself 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that we are providing the forward indexing so from second location onwards means this particular value onwards we are taking the slice 1 so 3 then then uh, second location means uh, 3 that is a value then fourth location value that means 5 then 7 then 9 like that they are taking the value within the slice 1 then column column 3 means from the starting location onwards, they are taking the value. So, 1, then 3. So, like that, step value that will be 3. So, 
how that will be your work that we need to identify based on this. So, slice 1 and slice 2, two slices that we retrieved. So, when we are taking the slicing, what will be the output for that and their list. This one is a list and this one is another list. So, sum 1 equal to sum 2 that is a common variable declaration then we are iterating the value and we are getting the total of that particular two variables. So, what will be the output for this question? Hope you already predicted the output for this. So, we are going to see what will be the output of this one. 25th question. Twenty fifth question this one. So, this one is the answer 3579 that is the list for, uh, for the, that is the value for slice 1 list. Then the sum that will be 24 and for the next one 1 4 0 1 2 3. So, 0 plus 3. So, this th 1 3 li uh, like that that values that is taken 1 4 7 10. So, they provide this slicing as 0 to ending value and the step value is 3. So, how that will be provided? The 0 to location that is the starting value plus 3. So, 0 to location value that will be taken then the third location value, third index location value that will be taken. So, third index location value means 0, 1, 2, 3. This one is the third index location value. Then again plus 3 that will be taken. So, like that they will iterate the values as 1 by 1 to slice 2. So, the correct answer is this one. So, just do it by yourself. It is a simple thing. Then we are moving to the next question. This one is another question. Consider the following list. LST equal to 789. That is the values that we provide. Write statement in Python using list function to do the following. Add element 456 to the end of the list, LST. So, how we will add that particular value within the ending? Which function that we will use for that? That is the first question. So, just predict the answer. Then remove the first element from the list. So, how we will remove the value from the first location? Insert the element 7 at index 3. That is the next question. Sort the list LST in descending order. So, these are the questions that you need to answer. So, for the first question, add element 456 to the end of the list. So, for adding append or extend which one for adding to this particular 456 value to the existing list, which one? And we are going to count shift extend. Extend that is the statement. So, so two lists that we taken together as a single list. Then for removing the first element, we will provide remove of 7, remove of 7. So, that will be taken. Then LST dot insert of 3 comma 7 from the third location. Insert the element, insert the element 7 at index 3. So, within the third location, we are trying to insert the value 7. So, insert of 3 comma 7, that is the answer. Then sort the list sort function that we will use within the same list if you need to sort we will use sort function reverse equal to true means then descending order they will sort it so one thing that you need to remember this t that is within capital letter then we are moving to another question this one is based on the tuple consider the following tuple a equal to 1 2 3 then answer the following a into 3 equivalent to a plus a plus a that is the first question whether that is same that you need to think. What is the difference between a within square bracket 1 colon 2? 1 colon 2 means uh, the last index location that will be exploded that you need to remember. So, only first index location value that means this value that will be taken then 1 colon 1 only is that is that a will take this particular value. So, that you need to identify this type of questions that we already discussed within the previous live session. So, you know the answers based on this. So, we are going to consider what is the answer. So, that is same when you are providing a into 3 and a plus a plus a the same answer that we will get and for that the blank tuple that will be provided for the last one the, for the first one we will provide 2 as the value. So, that is the answer for the two questions. Then another one is tuple into 3 what will happen? 
let's take an as a string only we didn't provide any comma separator there that you need to remember here so into 3 means what will be the answer there and a lien of tuple tap 1 what will be the answer the above code in uh, intended to create a tuple with the three identical strings but even after successfully executing the code there is no error reported by python the output is printed as a value different from 3 why so you need to provide a proper justification for this so what will be the answer that's taken as a string that's a reason you need to provide a comma separator there so if tuple 1 is intended to be a single element tuple then it must be defined as tuple then a comma then in the given code tuple 1 is treated by python as a string and hence string into tree what will happen they will replicate the value then alien will take the total number of characters within that so like that we need to provide the explanation for this question it's another question and this one is a dictionary declaration so here the keys are 5 and a the first one is integer and the second one is a string and the list of values that we provided there so keys when you provide keys what will, what will be the output and when you provide values what will be the output that you need to identify so what will be the output that particular values that will be taken as the command that question here one more question is there how is del d and del different from one another if d is a dictionary explain with the help of an example so that's a theoretical question that we can expect so what is the difference the command del d removes key value pairs from the dictionary corresponding to key whereas the command del d removes the entire dictionary the entire dictionary that will be deleted if you are providing del d but if you are providing del d then one key if you provide that particular key and value that will be deleted so this one is the explanation and the example that's also provided here and here we are moving to the next one it's our question so we are moving to the answer based on that so here you can see that particular data that's provided as a list and values that's also provided so dict underscore keys then as a list that they printed and dict underscore values as a list that they printed so like this we will get the value when you provide dot keys and dot values function and then we are moving to the next two question and the rest of the questions that we will discuss within the coming video so just try to uh, work out more questions and then the concept will be more clear for you thank you